Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just like last time, I had to do this early in the morning. It's almost 9 o'clock, and I'm back to reviewing the Grinch. Anyways, right where we left off, he gets chased by a dog. Trying to wake it up, and he already did. Climbs off the roof and get this sled. We get this touching moment. And he's for the whole people. Wish he was there, but he ignored that and gets a sled and succeeded. And we get this cute scene. Also, we see Fred the Moose starts doing the coffee. You know, his weight would break that machine. Anyhow, he does some sort of device. It's to see how many houses there are. I use the device to search around town. And yeah, it tells them to resist the presents and the cookies. Well, Cindy Wu is planning her trap for Santa Claus. Put that cookie down now. Also, I'm doing it in the kids' show movie. <laughs> Anyhow, so they give it a test by Fred the deer, and they go with it and. However, get flying on ice. But he stomps because he has a family. It's kind of unbelievable that he has to leave a bit of his family behind in less than a day. Everybody got their holiday gifts ready and decorations. And the Grinch finally uses his device and uses the Santa suit and makes it become his new reindeer. And they, all the kids are ready for their Santa's arrival, Queen Cindy Lou. So well, the Grinch and the Max go to the houses with his. These and candy cane devices. He snatches those gifts as a quick of a flash, one bag at a time. Tying the trees up and all the video games and, and their food, food, their decorations, their clothes, and Ignoring the cookie. He's 
And this scene does make me laugh. <laughs> it doesn't take the glass. All the houses he rent, and he goes to the very final house. He went down the chimney as quickly as possible. So finally getting... He grabs on the cookies. I'm learning Cindy Lou. And she comes face to face with the Grinch. Not noticing it's him that he's green. And the Grinch fought. Like, the plan. He came up with a lie quickly. He think of one right away. Because the narrator's not saying that. She explains that she he help from her mother that she's overworked it and wants Santa to help her. And I gotta admit this scene is very touching. And heartwarmingly sweet. They would turn to a lair, or that's only that one big tree that he wants to get rid of. All the Who's woke up, realized they've been hacked it, and they end up a little bit sad for the moment. The Grinch was about to knock all the stuff down off his cliff, but he hears them singing. And this scene is very touching because the ladies are singing the song and the Grinch's heart growed three sizes that day. And, and he tried to get the train ride back. Like from all the gifts he's stolen are about to fall off, but luckily Max tries to help. But Tom the Crab breaks in half, but luckily his friend popped out of nowhere, and luckily his family showed up. I'm saving him and the presents. And he returns to Whoville and give all our presents back. 
and he apologized on what he has done. He returns home to his lair and up the press and alone. However, he gives Max a gift toy. Somebody knocked at the door and would you know it? It's Cindy Lou. So the Grinch comes and says a dumb. And I gotta admit, this scene is really nice and cute. So he starts helping them. And he finally has to meet the Who's face to face. The Grinch was about to carve the roast beef. Yep, now our movie ends here. And that was the Grinch. Aren't you surprised they exist? To this film's credit, the animation is good. But this movie does have a few problems. It takes a little bit too long for the Grinch to finally be... ...who finally still Christmas. I can at least make the movie like a little bit less than a half hour short. The original one's way better. This is kind of an okay movie. If you have kids, they might enjoy watching this. Music's are right at most parts. Some characters we see serve no point in this film whatsoever. <clears throat> okay, I'll stop rhyming. This film is still alright. It does have the original parts of the story, so all I can say is... If you like the huge fan of the Grinch series, then enjoy pretty much the original or the Jim Carrey one. Or put this on to pass the time in for most people's enjoyment. So I give this Grinch 
movie, even though it's young for kids, I give this one a 5 out of 10. Well, thanks for watching. It's already been 15 minutes of me talking about it, so... I'll see you then when I talk about another interesting movie in the future. <laughs> Goodbye for now.